let's start it off this uh, this way, Corey. One of our topics that we talked about last time, M tripping, tripling. Yeah, EM, tri- I think it's M tripling. E M yeah, tripling. E M tripling. He had a beautiful, beautiful viral video. We talked about it last time. We talked about how he finessed an L and made it a W Crazy. by taking these 13 people at his show, all right, and highlighting that experience on Twitter and tweeting about it. Hey, I'm grateful for this experience. And then that shit went viral, right? Yeah. And then there was another video that went viral from the same show. You want to talk about that? Yeah, man. So, I mean, it's pretty new at this point. So it's a little bit of speculation involved. People might, okay, okay. You know, it, might, it might not be pieced all the way together, but I feel like by the time it comes out, it, it'll be a pretty 100%. Ain't no speculating, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much what, what happened was is there's this clip that's moving in the meme space of uh, he's on stage at another show and he's just like talking, you know what I'm saying, doing the little, the little you know, the little talk artists do in between each song. Mm-hmm. And a random fan you know in the crowd is like yo bro can you shout me out and he's like yeah i shot you out what's your name and the fans like uh 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 and, you know the whole crowd like goes crazy he's like oh, and the email's like oh bro forgot his name and the crowd goes crazy like uh, uh i don't know when that show happened it looks like it was pretty recent i'm gonna guess no, like bro that looked like the same show you think so that, that looked like the same yeah. show. We got we, we can like contrast outfits. We're gonna throw that up on the screen. Yeah, we probably to. even play that for you. But I I think that was actually the same show. That now that would be crazy because then now the conversation would need to change to <laughs> maximizing your investment <laughs> 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 when it comes to getting content at these different events. But I mean, either way, like it was dope because I think it speaks to how a lot of the time we talk about like you can manipulate conversation. Right, like you can you can shoot things and and use like these meme pages and these different repost pages to create a narrative that could go m- much further than you planned for it to go. Cause I don't know, I, I personally have my reasons for why I didn't believe it was real. You know, um, but some some things about the, the technical aspects of it felt felt a little staged. You know what I'm saying? Like we we do this a lot, so like we see it a lot. I, I can tell when it's real and when somebody's acting it out, but. It still is genius, nonetheless, because I've been seeing it on all the meme pages I follow on Instagram at least all day. <laughs> at hey. least the really big ones, like definitely the really big ones. But a lot of smaller pages are picking it up. I've been seeing it on some Twitter threads, and it's like he created this. Oh, oh that's it. Oh yeah, he created this like crazy organic moment. This is one hundred percent, bro. This is one hundred percent the same show. It's the same show. I'm looking at his outfit. That's oh, it is the, the same. That, show. That's the same show. Damn, that's, that's crazy. the same show. So. So uh, let's break this down because I know we've kind of talked. I want to make sure like, y'all need to understand why we're even talking about this the yeah. way we're talking about it, right? So I'll say I'll go for the maximizing values. No, nah, no, nah, we're gonna skip to this. What did What did you find out? What did you notice about the back end of this guy? I want I want to let you you know drop. Go ahead, drop the bomb, bro. Who's this guy associated with? Oh yeah, so uh, I have a really good friend who. Well, okay, so his manager is Snot's manager, the rapper Snot. Um, I have a friend who is good friends with Snot's manager. Thus, how I was able to get this information and piece it together. But there were things about it I feel like I would have pieced together anyway. But this came direct from the source of like, yo, like friend being like, yo, I got to text this dude and be like, this shit is genius because this shit is genius. What y'all just did, and that camp from what I've just. The conversations I've had with my friend, like apparently, like his manager does shit like that all the time. Like they're 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 pretty good at like getting the artists to do these things at events that they can later flip into like social media viral moments, um, which is interesting because I think that's how Snot might have kind of. I think Snot came up in the meme the meme world, yep. the meme culture, right? So in a lot of ways he has yep. these people behind him that understand how to make an organic looking meme moment, which I don't know if this is well known but you know we've kind of seen it's like you can crack the meme market that's a very powerful very cheap engine to learn how to tap into it's crazy right because like you could literally get a post i don't know a couple hundred bucks couple a couple tens of bucks that gets millions of views if you do it right because that whole community is oriented around just sharing shit right like one meme page posted it's 30 of them that like them they all start sharing and it, it can create like a really quick like like viral looking moment that could mm-hmm. lead to a viral moment. Cause you know another, another artist that did the meme strategy recently 
uh, is Lil Yachty with Poland. I don't know if you heard that song. I've seen uh, clips. Yeah. By, no, yeah, I did listen to it because he actually mentions Poland in it, right? Yeah. I saw, yeah, one little snippet. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like that, it's almost the same strategy. But I, it's it's this same strategy, but to a higher degree. Like Yachty really blasted the meme pages like that. Couple of days to week after, it, as it was coming out to when it came out, he was on the meme pages hard. Like so, this to me is like smaller version of that. They probably don't have the craziest budget to keep it going the same way Yachty would have it going, right? But I will argue that this is probably a little bit more impactful because one, he just had. That conversation about the show that that was what like two weeks ago, week ago, two weeks ago. A week ago. So it's like, all right, he's a newer artist. We have to figure out how to keep him in the conversation for as cheap as we can possibly do it for, because we don't want people to forget about him and think of him as like, oh, he's just the guy from that viral tweet. All right, Bell, let's create another one. Which now that we're seeing from the same content from the same day, it's like let's put enough time out there that this doesn't look obviously fake. Because I think the clips that came out like too close together would have been obvious that it was fake, right? Mm-hmm. And there's probably some people who peeped it too. They're probably yeah. getting like, oh, this shit from that same shit, right? Yeah. But they put enough time in between it to make it feel like a true organic viral moment. The artist isn't doing too much around it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, if it wasn't for some of the back end mechanics of it and just us knowing who we know, I mean, that shit might have got me. You know, I might have fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a fact, man. That's a fact. And I want to say, like, whenever we, we talk about this type of stuff here, it's not to like out somebody. We're not any industry plant type people here, yeah. right? Because obviously we're the people behind many of these types of campaigns. We're here to say like, this shit is amazing. Big up it. And y'all should be inspired by their ability to take a small moment and then flip it and to create a conversation. Because I agree, that's way more empower- uh, powerful than what Lil Yachty is doing. Yeah. Just because, you know, Yachty has a name, so he's getting that recognition. Yeah. So Buddy couldn't necessarily do the same thing because he's a smaller artist. So people just feel like, oh, y'all are just throwing this artist in my face. Yeah, but people exactly. already know Yachty's big. Exactly. So it exactly. kind of feels validated. But even beyond that, the clip that they're sharing has more natural virality where Lil Yachty's campaign is just awareness. You know who Lil Yachty is. He just dropped something. Yeah. Great. This, I'm going to share it. Right. Yeah. I'm going to talk about what EM Triplin did in his first one, especially even if you think about the order. It's perfect that he thanked these people. Oh man, this is a, um, you know, I didn't have that many people sh- uh, blow up on my, come to my show, that blows up. Now you're aware of them. So then when you see the second clip about the fan at his show, yeah. right? Now you know who the artist is, yeah. right? It's more context to it, yeah. right? Um, yeah. Cause that clip right there, without that, you're like, I don't know. Now why do I care? Why do I care? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. and. You know, him being having Snot's manager behind him is just just shows that they have smart people in their corner. Yeah. And that's what you're supposed to be. T- <laughs> you need to get some smart people in your corner or think creatively. And that's all I always I always say with artists. Like people stop short with the music so much versus applying the creativity towards their music videos, towards yeah. their shows, towards their marketing. This is that like to a T. To yeah. a T. Yeah, and shout out to them for having the idea on the fly like that. Like, I don't, I don't know which came first. Like the yeah. flipping, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this probably came first, and then the, the moment that just flipped because it was like, oh, it happened. We might as well, you know, get some, get something out of this. Yep. But yeah, bro, that's a, that's, that's definitely a bang for buck, bro. Two viral moments out of, uh, out of one show, bro. Like hey, it's crazy. The way it's going, artist? it might be a third one coming, man. We don't yeah. know. Yeah, we'll, facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But with that being said. You had um, put me on to this Coyle Ray tr- uh, clip. Oh, yeah. With her talking about TikTok. I want to see what you guys think about that. So we'll play it and then.